Hello, welcome back to Rails Quest. Today we're going to do something a little bit fun. I'm excited to show this to you because it's going to show you the magic of, again, what is my favorite AI assistant development tool, which is called Aider. We're going to take another look at the CSS Zero showcase that I put together for a video a while back. So without any further introduction, let's dig right into it. So you can see there's just a little bit of text here and not much else going on. We could add more to this demo if we wanted to, but I think what you're about to see is going to be impressive enough. So let's get right to it. This is the routes file for the application, and we're looking at the CSS0 showcase page. Nothing much to it here. If we go to the actual HTML, this is all we got. We're using the pros class to put some styling on some text here. Not too much going on, and I think that's going to be a good environment for our demonstration here. So let's take a look at this tool, Aider. We're going to give it our base CSS file. You can see we're using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, a recent edition of that, as our main model that's going to be writing the code. People are always interested to see which LLM is actually processing the code here. Let's take a look at the base style sheet. This is what you get when you scaffold a new CSS0 setup. It gives you a nice set of colors that are used in your theme throughout the application. And you see we have a light color scheme and down here we have the dark color scheme which is automatically applied using prefers color scheme dark and we can demonstrate that by changing the color scheme of the computer now we see my mac is in dark mode and we get the dark mode version of the page so that's enough showing off the vanilla css0 installation let's get to this crazy stuff here we're going to use voice mode and give some instructions to the ai create a funky new color scheme design for this application Throw in any other fun and creative designs that you would like to apply in the base CSS file, but focus on the color scheme and make sure that it works for both light mode and dark mode. Feel free to get creative and crazy with it. This will be interesting. So Ader is going to transcribe my instructions, and then we're going to create what looks like a cyberpunk-inspired color scheme. Okay, and Ader automatically commits the changes that it makes, so it's very easy if you want to undo it with this undo command. But but before we do anything like that, let's take a look at what it did. So this is our new application. You see when I resize the window, it must have put a transition animation on there. And if you can tell, it looks like it's in the background also. So it chose to do some interesting things with the CSS there. We animate highlighting the links. Well, we've got funky styles on the buttons here, and they animate also. So there you are. We can do just a little bit more. Let's add pros to its purview. Now we're going to ask the AI spice up the typography. Spice up the typography styles in the pros.css class to match the punk theme that we've already chosen dynamic and futuristic. This ought to be exciting. We'll refresh for good measure. And there you have it. It looks like the main change that it made was to put a little glow around the code blocks, add a text glitch animation effect for headings, gradient backgrounds and neon glow effects for code blocks, stylized block quotes with gradient backgrounds, enhanced link styling, and improved letter spacing and text transforms for better cyberpunk aesthetics. So now it's futuristic and cyberpunk. So there you go. There's some of the crazy stuff it does with links. Let's change this to a block quote and see what that was all about. Oh, the heading isn't inside here, so let's make an H2. There's our glitchy heading. See, the difference was this heading is outside of the prose block. If I put it inside, I assume, yes, we get the glitchy stuff there too. So that pretty much does it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to style your application, especially when you're using a library like CSS Zero. If this was a Tailwind application, maybe I'll demo that in the future, but you would point for the color scheme, you would point your AI at the Tailwind config, which is a JavaScript file where you configure Tailwind variables like colors and things like that. In this case though, it's very straightforward. It's just plain CSS. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this crazy demo. I can't wait to see what interesting things y'all make with this with the help of an AI. Look at how quick you can make these big sweeping changes to your application. It's exciting. This is probably not the end product that you want to end up with. It's a little bit too out there. But hey, you can get something interesting and creative and then go in and see what it changed and tweak it to meet your own needs. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope you come back again. I hope you like and subscribe to these videos that would help me out a ton and have a blessed week.